simple uh, example of JSON. So mm -hmm. if it says uh, uh, name, okay, and uh, something ABC, and then uh, employee ID something. one two three four and contact number i'm just giving a simple uh, example for jason yeah. mm -hmm. now so when it's we have this type of jason's mm -hmm. right yeah correct mm -hmm. so we can create a class which will have property of this name uh employee id and contact number uh so let me uh go and uh, there are some website which are available uh like uh, uh, json to c sharp if you see, uh, if you search so that uh, that will make uh, our life much easier uh, in terms of going uh, and uh, creating classes from ourselves mm -hmm. so uh, uh, these are simple that's why we can write but if you have some uh, lengthy JSON files so we can actually go and uh, uh, use this so mm -hmm. I can copy this class okay and uh, uh, let me copy it till here so uh, this uh, this was just example I can go and uh, suppose I created uh, this class here just for this demo purpose and I can paste here okay I'll do just formatting so you copy it from yes I copied from uh, here the so you given that uh, and then it will generate a uh... The, okay. Right. Uh, see, uh, mm -hmm. I can go directly to uh, Visual Studio. I can create a class uh, with mm -hmm. property name, employee ID, contact number. But mm -hmm. I was saying this is just a simple JSON which we can mm -hmm. create uh, easily, right? But right. if you have uh, some uh, lengthy JSON like this one, I earlier I, I explained mm -hmm. you right, right. that mm -hmm. will be a little bit difficult. Like how many classes will be there and and all so what I can do I just copy and I can paste it here mm -hmm. and generate so that will generate a, a, a class for me uh, mm -hmm. and pro with pro uh, with properties so you see wherever we see that curly bracket that become a class right mm -hmm. uh, see that uh, first one was this uh, uh, glossary so mm -hmm it gave the name of that class and then uh, it has uh, parameters para and uh, this glossy also yeah. okay mm -hmm. and uh, then we have one gloss entry so here it is and that way wherever it finds that curly bracket so it will make a class and uh, yes so see this one uh, is a list it created a collection for this one right so most that is the innermost actually that is the key value pair that we need right okay right so uh, in earlier uh, i said uh, whenever the, uh, you see this square brackets mm -hmm. so it means we have to create a uh, a list or collection mm -hmm. so that we can uh, deserialize or, or serialize easily okay mm -hmm. So it created a class uh, with this name and uh, uh, collection. Okay. So I can go and uh, I can create a class with this name. All right. Uh, let me. Why it's saying okay? I think underscore two e, emp underscore maybe 
Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Yeah. That doesn't matter. Okay. So, we'll see uh, what are the errors here. Yeah, there is a space, I think, between the two EMP and ID. Uh, right. Yeah. So we can uh, rename a uh, uh, class name here. Uh, anything I can modify. So that's okay. We'll see it later when we start actually uh, doing this. So uh, we uh, are done with uh, creating our classes. So suppose uh, uh, we have uh, five different APIs which are going to automate. All right. Mm -hmm. So uh, first we need to identify uh, the what the classes we can create out of those uh, endpoints. Like some will be uh, like get endpoints. Some will be uh, post, delete, put. Right. Mm -hmm. So based on that, uh, we need to create uh, our classes and objects of that. Mm -hmm. So these now, are the inputs, uh, right? For that, uh, for right. Particular rest. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Now the next thing is, uh, we need, uh, as as we talked about, we need uh, some uh, libraries which will parse JSON. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, we need to uh, go to uh, NuGet Package Manager. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, I can search for uh, one is see, one is a uh, Newton soft mm -hmm. JSON. Mm -hmm. So I can install for this one. Okay, and another we talked about uh, rest sharp. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, some uh, specific versions will will have some issue with uh, your uh, .NET uh, framework, whatever you're using. So you need to uh, verify which will work, which version. Okay. So let me install this one. 4.5, I guess, the .NET. Right, 4.0. So 4.5 for 4.0.